Welcome back guys to another video, a quick short value packed video talking about nodes and it is important to understand what they are and what we use nodes for. And we use nodes to speak to the blockchain. That's it. It's a piece of software that we run on our local machine and that helps us get data from the blockchain. So a blockchain is basically a network of nodes that talk to each other. You could eventually spin up your own node, but that's a full-time job on its own. You, you need to have maintenance, you need to have backups, reliability, and that takes time. And that's why we have different services uh, that provide a node for us, such as Chainstack. And if you want to try Chainstack, make sure, make sure you go to moralis.io slash nodes. But we don't speak to the nodes directly. Have this picture in mind, you might have, might have seen this before. So we have blockchains on level, level 1, and then we have the nodes on level 2. Then we have APIs on level 3, and we as the developers, we speak to the APIs. I will explain why, but first it's important to understand that we don't use uh, nodes or talk to nodes because we don't get a lot of data. We basically get raw data from the blockchain, and that means we can't get a list of the tokens for a user, for example. We can get the balance, the specific balance for a smart contract. For example, if we ask a node to get uh, the balance of this user for this token, that we can get. But we can't get the list of tokens for a user or the list of NFTs for a user. We as the developers, we talk to the APIs. As I said, APIs are the level above the nodes and the APIs are talking to the nodes itself. And we talk to the APIs because an API provider can give us all the data about balances, users, and other things we might want to know. Another example is when you're using MetaMask. So MetaMask reads and writes information to a blockchain by connecting to a node, basically. It makes a connection by using a default node provider that shares the resources across all MetaMask users. You could eventually set up your default network uh, with your custom RPC URL and have your MetaMask wallet talk to the blockchain through a custom node provider. Again, for example, if you're using Chainstack. So I hope this quick value packed video made you understand a little bit more about nodes. But if you have any questions whatsoever, make sure you post them in the, in the comment section below. I will be there to help you out and answer those. 